know more about QR code, barcode and their uses. The image which we see here is a barcode and a QR code. What is barcode? What is QR code? Let us see. Barcodes. Barcode is said to be one dimensional linear arrangement of vertical parallel lines which is encoding information attached to it by optical machine reader. Here it is written 640509. The first six numbers encoded in a barcode identify a company that has paid a fee to acquire the rights to a unique manufacturer identification number. The manufacturer's six-digit code stays the same for all its products. 0414, the next five digits signify the item number or the product code. The last number in the code is a check digit. Its value must match a number obtained by running the other numbers through an algorithm. Barcode uses Barcodes are used in hospitals. The patients are bound with a barcode bracelet in the wrist so that information regarding their medical history, diagnosis, treatment, etc. can be accessed readily by a doctor or a nurse on inspection. Next, it is used in pharmaceutical and drug stores. Barcodes provide the convenient option of having a database for each drug so that its quality and quantity can be tracked efficiently and regularly. Barcode uses. Many supermarkets began practicing the trend of having barcode stickers on the various products to be sold to the customers. Consumers. This helped them in accessing relevant data associated with the specific product such as its price, date of manufacture, expiry date, net weight, etc. which was hugely helpful at the time of billing and checkout of a customer. This system is followed till date and active in almost all supermarkets across the world. QR Codes a. A QR code, short for quick response code, is a type of barcode that contains a matrix of dots. B. It can be scanned using a QR scanner or smartphone with, with built-in camera. C. One scanned software on the device converts the dots within the code into numbers or a string of characters. D. A QR code is used to encode some sort of information. E. For example, scanning a QR code with your phone might open a URL in your phone's or web browser. What can be stored in a QR code? Up to 7089 digits or 4296 characters including punctuation marks and special characters can be entered in one code. In addition to numbers and characters, words and phrases, example, internet address can be encoded as well. As more data is added to the QR code, the code size increases and the code structure becomes more complex. A QR code used on a large billboard in Japan linking to the Sagazo.mobi website. 
QR codes have been used and printed on train tickets in China since 2010. How do I create QR code? Creating a QR code takes only a few seconds. The first step is to go to a website which generates QR codes. Example, www.qrcodegenerator.com There, you can choose the type of code you want to create and then enter the appropriate data. Simply click on Create QR Code and your personal QR code is ready. Now, you just decide in which image format you want to use the code and download the file easily. A Google search for QR code generator brings up countless results, each offering different options. So, it is simply a case of selecting the options that works best for you. Advantages of QR code the main advantage is that you can store up the hundred times more information on a QR code than on a conventional horizontal barcode. In addition, QR code can be scanned from any direction from 360 degrees. This makes them easier for your device and read and lessens the possibility of background interference. QR code scanners, however, are designed to capture 2D images printed on paper or displayed on a screen. Now let us see the difference in QR code and barcode. In matrix type, QR code is two-dimensional. Whereas, in barcode, it is one-dimensional. In represented by, in QR code, it is square dots on a square grid. Whereas, in barcode, vertical arrangement of parallel lines. When we see commercial origin, QR code was originated in the year 1994. Whereas, barcode was originated in the year 1974. If you see the purpose, QR code's purpose, purpose is storing and transmitting text, images, contact, music, etc. Barcode, it stores transmitting data associated with consumers or consumers' products. If you see where it is mainly used in, QR codes are mainly used in smartphones, tablet devices, computers, etc. Barcode is used mainly in supermarkets, hospitals, cinema, theatres, express malls, etc. The QR codes are generally about 645.16 mm square, 1 inch square in size, but can represent 7000 digits or 4000 characters of text, on average a little less than 700 words. Whereas, if you see barcode, the UPC is good enough if all of you need to do is record and read 12 digits. QR code is read by camera in smartphone. It holds information in both horizontal and vertical directions. Hence, the name two-dimensional code. If we see barcode, it reads only the laser light. It holds information in the horizontal direction. QR codes come with an error margin that ranges from 7.30 percentage. Whereas, if we see the barcode, which is more error in damage. QR code 
is in use for a wide variety of purposes such as encoding text, music, images, software, contacts, etc. A user can customize and generate his or her own QR code as well as to share and transmit text, images, music, etc. among friends and family. Using a QR code is fairly easy, fast and convenient too. Hence, it is no surprise that it has evolved as a rage. Use a QR code to direct a customer to the URL of your website, Facebook, Twitter or other social media page. Use it to share a text message anything from happy holidays to have you seen what we have upstairs use it as a discount code to be taken to the checkout counter for 10 percent off for example use it on your business card with your contact details embedded inside the code use it to link to a google maps location for your new store location perhaps QR code users use it to link to a YouTube video or channel perhaps demonstrating new products or funny company videos. Use it to link to an app store download perhaps of your company's latest e-commerce app. Use it to embed pricing of your products as an alternative for more conventional price tags. Put it on your websites contact us page allowing people scan it and get your contact information direct on their phones.